Welcome everyone, thanks for tuning back in. This is a completed version of the over the island LED array. Uh, it has white light, RGB, uh, SMB 5050 LED strips, and uh, they're on my light controllers. And it's a three, it's four zone capable with this controller, 2.4 gigahertz RF. But uh, I just use uh, three different zones. I'm pulling so many amps that I had to use three different controllers. This is the remote control to the three zone controllers, uh, as you've seen in a previous video. But uh, there are some do's and don'ts to working with plexiglass this thick, and that's going to be a separate video. I, I really want to get that video out because uh, there are some strict rules when it comes to working with plexiglass. And uh, I want to I want to want to show that to everyone. Uh, drilling holes is not straightforward, uh, and I had to cut these U bolts off. And I'm going to put up pictures of of the progression. I didn't film the installation of this LED array just because it was so tedious, and I had uh, I had so much going on in here. It, the timing just wasn't right. And so I couldn't, I couldn't film that. It just, it just wasn't going to work out for me. But I'm going to show you a progression in pictures of kind of what I did. So that, that should be, that should work out just fine. But I routed uh, with the edge, I kind of left. Uh, I tried to leave an artistic touch to the edge of this plexiglass, and we're going to get close up looks of that. But uh, these are uh, half inch lag bolts that I built a two by four support that are actually attached to my ceiling joist through this box. This was the old vent hood. This is just a, the collar is just a fir wood one by eight, uh, eight, number two select from the, from the lumber supply store. Uh, nothing special, just 45 of the ends on it. Uh, use a little bit of uh, uh, 2P10 to tack them. Get them up, make sure everything was right. Stainless steel screws to hold it on. Nothing fancy there, and it can come right off if I wanted it to. Uh, half inch holes, like I said, drilled into one inch plexiglass. This plexiglass weighed over 150 pounds, so it took three of us to hang it. And when I realized I wanted to do something different, we had to unhang it and rehang it back. So uh, stainless, uh, no, they're not stainless. These are just uh, chrome plated just normal hardware that you would get anywhere. I had to buy the U-bolts online because it's hard. in my area I can't buy half inch U-bolts that were four by six. So that's it. A 30 amp power supply that I showed you in a previous video to power the 26 amps uh, white light. If I turn this all the way up, I'm not sure if it comes through. It looks like on my phone you can see how bright it is. You can tell by my arm and my hand, but here's some bananas. But you can really tell, before I installed the plexiglass, it was too bright. It was so bright, it was uh, unpleasant on high. But now it's, uh, it's totally workable, so I use, accidentally use the right amount of LEDs, which is great. And uh, of course, I have a color wheel. I installed RGB, three strips of RGB, just for fun. Uh, but uh, it, So there's no buttons on this remote, so if you just roll around the color wheel, then you can do that. But uh, so okay, so menu, and you can do uh, actual mode. I guess it's not menu, but there's all different things you can turn the speed up. But you know that's just more novelty than anything. I just wanted to be able to do it for the heck of it. All right, so uh, without getting too technical on the remote, that's that. And uh, like I said, that's the finished product. Stay tuned. I'm gonna put up some pictures of the progression. Maybe with some little notes at the bottom. I'm not going to do a voiceover, but you'll see exactly the steps it took to get me to this point. That's it. Thanks for watching. Good job,